Hi everyone. My name is Jagda Kumari and I'm an online math instructor with over five years of experience. I'm also the co-founder of Hirani Tutor, where we provide tutoring services to students all around the globe. Today, I'm excited to help you master the basics of one step equation. So let's get start the session. And when we think about the equation, it's like a math sentence with an equal sign. For example, x plus 5 is equals to 7. So basically, this sentence or this equation is is a math sentence with an equals to sign. And it tells us that the two things are the same. So the left hand side is equals to right hand side. Sometimes we don't know one of the numbers in the equation. So we use a letter. In our equation, that letter is x. Okay, and we call this letter as variable. Okay, so as moving further, x plus 5 equals to 7. This is an equation with an equal, and there's an equals to sign. So that's, that's basically called as equation, where left hand side of the equation equals to right hand side equation. So we have to think about the value of x that makes the left hand side equals to right hand side. So... Um, if I put my x value as 2, if I put my x value as 2 in our equation, then I would say my left hand side would be equals to right hand side. It's a valid equation. So we have to find out the value of x. We have to find out the value of variable in our equation. Let's do a few more questions. To understand this concept. For example, I have a question x plus 6 equals to 12. Then when we say it's a single step equation, that means with the only single step, with only one step, we should be able to solve this equation. So for example, what should be value of x that I should add with 6 to get 12? So the answer that comes in my mind is oh 6. If I put my x value as 6, I would get my left hand side equals to right hand side. Okay, so that's the concept behind. Now, the actual math steps would be, for example, we have x plus 7 equals to 30. So, single step would be, you have a plus 7 over here, you will do an opposite action to, sub, to cancel it out. So, opposite of plus 7 is negative 7. So we just need to add negative 7 on each side. Then my plus 7 minus 7 will become 0 and 13 minus 7 will give me 6. That's my answer. So if I put my x as 6 here, 6 plus 7 equals to 13. Let's do a few more questions. We have x over, or uh, not over, x plus 8 is equals to 17, let's say. To solve this question, we should do, we should do opposite action. We should subtract 8 on each side. When we do this, plus 8 and minus 8 cancel out. 17 minus 8 is no, And that's our If we have already x minus 9 equals to 13, let's say. So to do this question, we have to add the like opposite of negative 9 is plus 9. So you will add plus 9 on each side. So negative 9 plus 9 cancel out. x is equals to 13 plus 9 is 22. 
we let's do one more question. For example, we have x minus 8 is equals to 32, let's say. To do this question, we have to add plus 8 on each side. Now, why we are doing it on each side? Because if you are adding one thing on one side of the equation, you have to add, you have to add the same thing on the other side of the equation as well. So that's why we add plus 8 on each side. So negative 8 plus 8 becomes 0. X is equal to 32 plus 8 is 40. That's our answer. X minus 6 is equal to 18. So to do this question, we have to add plus 6 on each side. This cancel out. X is equal to 18 plus 6 is 20. And that's our answer. So students, let's just cut the class over here. And I will see you in the next class. So we will continue the same talk. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe to my video. Thank you.